I'd like to really quickly run through how to insert an image and add a link. If you've done any sort of web development before, that shouldn't really be, you know, these aren't difficult concepts. There are a couple of quirks in open class I'd like to alert you to. Um, so I'm in my fake PE class here. So I'm going to add an image to the Brussels Marathon and a link to Runner's World Magazine. So I'm in my content page here. This is just a regular content page. And of course I have to go to modify. So let me do the link first. Um, one thing that is annoying about open class is that if you have ever done any sort of web development or added a link before, what you have to do is you type the text and then you highlight the text and then you add the link. Okay, So you look for the little thing that looks like a chain link fence or a chain link, you click on it and there should be what I expected there to be Okay, so you can link to content or files, insert an image, link to a website. Well, I'm going to an outside website, and you hit continue. What I expected is, oh, a place for the website address, which there is, but you have to type the text here. So the text to display would be, you know, all right, the, t the text that I typed in earlier where it said, here's my link, that's just going to get overwritten. So let me see, I think I have my website address saved. I'm just going to paste it in, and it was from Runner's World. And you add the link. So if you recall, what I'd originally typed was, here's my link, it's just gone. So you have to type the actual text that gets displayed in this link window. And that's caught me a couple of times where I've had to you know, retype something in here to get the link there. A little bit annoying, that's a little bit of a quirk. Um, so, next thing I want to show you is how to insert an image. And if you have done uh, any web development with, say, Google Sites or some other types of products, what you can do is um, insert an image. You look for the little thing that looks like an image. And in other programs, you can add a link URL or an image URL. You can't do that here. You actually have to have the image saved somewhere on your desktop. So what I'm going to do is just really quickly show people how to do that. Um, I have a Creative Commons uh, image here. It's not copyrighted in any way. I'm going, this is one way to save your image. I'm going to right click, save image as, and I'm just going to call it running. And I'm going to put it on my desktop so I can find it. Okay, so what I want to do is add the image right underneath it. You go to the little thing that looks like a little picture, a little mountain scene there, insert the image. You have to add descriptive text, so for example if um, somebody can't see the image, you'll see, at least see a word or a description. I'm going to call it runners. You choose the file, just like you're attaching a file to an email. And I think I call it running. And you insert the image. And it pops up and there it is. I'm going to save my changes. Now one thing that's a bit of a quirk, um, if you're accustomed to being able to resize your image, like if I clicked on it, you know, you might be expecting to have a little handlebars there to make it bigger or smaller. You can't do that in open class, at least not yet. So the image that you have, that's it. If it's too big, you have to find another image or use another program to, to knock it down or, or change the size. I'm not going to show you how to do that here in this video. So that's um, really quickly how to add a link, how to add an image. There are a couple little quirks there but hopefully you can figure it out.